Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I'll show you how to rapidly build a complete website using Breakdance. You'll learn how to create a header, a footer, a home page, another page, a contact page with a contact form, a menu. We'll link it all together. We'll set up your home page URL correctly. You'll learn how to use the global settings to customize everything. And we're not going to design anything. We're going to do it all using the pre-made sections in Breakdance's design library. So all these sections, we can just add them to our page in just one click, which can make it super, super easy to build out our pages. Okay, let's go into the WordPress admin panel and do it. So here we are inside the WordPress admin panel, and the first thing we're going to do is add a home page. So to do that, we're going to go to Pages and then Add New. And let's call this Home Page and hit Publish. Now let's open up Breakdance by clicking Edit in Breakdance. Here we are inside Breakdance, and let's add some designs to this page. So we'll go to Add, and if we wanted to build out the design manually, we could with all of Breakdance's elements. But I don't want to do that. I'm lazy. I want to use the design library. So let's open up the design library, and we instantly have tons of beautiful designs we can add to the page in just one click. We have a number of different design sets, so you can take a look at the marketing agency design set, you can take a look at the architecture design set. These all look absolutely fantastic. You can mix and match sections. You could put a section from this design set if you like, and then you could use a section from another design set elsewhere. But let's go into the Samba design set, and let's use some sections from Samba. So the first thing I'm going to do is just use this first one as my hero section, because this looks pretty good. And uh, then I want to add maybe some social proof below that. So let's open the library again. And let's look for some testimonials. If we could just search, if we're having trouble finding anything, we could just click and search pages and type in testimonials, and there we go. Testimonials, let's find some testimonials. I like this section right here, so let's just click Add to Page. Now we've got our testimonials, and you notice they don't look exactly the same. And when you open up the library, you'll notice it says this design relies on global settings. It won't look the same unless you import them. And it's going to make it really easy to customize later because we can just modify the global settings. They'll affect everything. So let's go ahead and import those global settings. So let's confirm that. And there we go. We've imported the global settings for Samba. And now this looks exactly the same as it does in the preview. And let's go back to the library and add some more sections. So maybe we want some kind of content sections. Let's see what else we got in here. We've got team. We've got features. Yeah, here, let's, let's add in this features section here for some page content. And then let's maybe add a call to action in at the bottom. So here we got some call to actions. Here, I think I like this one. I like this one right here. So let's add this to the page. And there we go. We've created a beautiful home page uh, in, you know, very, very quickly. Now to customize this, all we can do, all we do is just be click and customize as we want. So we want to edit the text. You know, you can just double click to edit the text, type in your own headings, you know, fill in your own text. See, this opens this, this icon. We want this to open up a video. So let's click the icon, go to link, and let's go into the settings for the link. Let's make this a lightbox link. We want it to open up a video, and then we could paste in our video URL right there if we wanted to do that. Uh, we customize these testimonials. If we wanted to reorder elements on the page, we could. Maybe we want to get rid of this heading or drag it somewhere else. Maybe we want to add some space. We mouse over the edge. We have other videos on actually designing pages with Breakdance, so I'm not going to go into much detail here. I'm just going to show you how to quickly build a page using the library. Watch the other videos to learn all about the customization options available to you. But okay, here is a nice home page, so let's go ahead and click Save. And now that that's saved, let's go back to the WordPress admin panel by clicking the X and choosing Exit to WordPress. Now that we've created a home page, let's add in a header and footer that applies to all of our pages. To do that, we'll go to Breakdance, Headers, and let's click Add Header. I'll call this Main Header, and under Location, we're going to apply the header everywhere. Let's click Add Header, and now let's edit in Breakdance. And for this header, I'm just going to find one I like in the Design Library, so I'll go to Add, Library, let's look for Headers. Here are some headers in Samba. Which one do I want? I think this blue one is pretty nice, so let's add that to the page. And let's save. Okay, let's go back to WordPress, and let's add in a footer. So we'll go to Breakdance, Footers. 
click add footer. I'll call this main footer and apply footer everywhere. Let's click add footer and then let's edit in breakdance. All right, here we are in breakdance again. Let's open up the design library by going to add library. There's also a keyboard shortcut to get into the library. You can just click command or press on your keyboard command B. That'll get you browsing the library immediately. And let's find a footer. So here we got some footers here. Let's add in, what kind of footer do we want? Got a lot of nice footers here. Let's add in this footer. This is a nice footer right here. And let's go ahead and save this and then exit to WordPress. And now let's take a look at our home page and see how it looks with the header and footer added. So we'll go to pages and home page. We'll just click view. And here is our home page with the header, the home page we designed using the design library and the footer. So that looks great. Let's go ahead and add another page. Now let's add a contact page. So I can go back to the WordPress admin, admin panel and I'll go to pages and add new. And I'll call this one on contact. Let's publish that and let's edit with breakdance. Okay, here we are inside breakdance and you can see our header and footer showing up. Let's go ahead and add in a contact page. Let's go to add library and let's see if we can find any good contact section. So here's contact us. We could add in some info about our offices. Maybe we want to change this heading to uh, contact us. Find us in person at uh, the following locations. Maybe we want to add in a map. Maybe we want to customize this a bit. So let's just add a columns element manually. Let's do two columns. Let's drag this address over here. Um, in fact, let's get rid. Let's get rid of all these other addresses so we can open up the structure panel. And I'm not going to go into much detail on editing pages. You can watch our other videos for that. But let's just delete delete these addresses. And we have our one address here. Let's just in this column. Let's add a Google Map element. So as you can see, it's really easy to customize the existing designs too. Let's use without API key just for demo purposes. And here we go. Here's our map. Let's go into size and make that a little bit less tall, 300 pixels tall. And there we go. We got our nice map. We could probably put in our, let's put in this address as our actual address right here. Okay, looks good. Let's add in a contact form. So let's go to add and library. See if we find any good sections with contact form. Here's a nice contact form right here. So let's add that to the page. And maybe we want to customize this form a bit. Maybe we only want the first name and the email address and the message. Let's just go to the form builder, choose first name in, in the fields here. We can clear out the fields we don't want. So we'll delete last name or we'll delete email. And now we just have first name and message. We probably want first name now to be full width. So we'll open up first name. We can go to advance and we'll just clear out that width. So it's full width. And there we go. And now on submit, if we look at actions, uh, by default, it's going to email us and store the submission. Let's open up this email action. Make sure it's sending the email where we want. It's not. So we probably should put in your email address uh, at, you know, wherever your email address is. And uh, you're good to go from there. Okay, there we go. That's how to set up a contact form. So that's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and save this page. And let's go back to, let's go to the front end and take a look. And here we go. Looks good. Looks good. Let's go ahead and add another page. Let's, uh, let's just go new, new page in the admin bar. And we'll call this uh, our services. And uh, let's publish this and then edit with breakdance. All right, here we are inside Breakdance again. Let's go back to the design library. So we'll go to add and then library. And let's let's design a nice services page. So maybe we want, what do we want to put? Let's take a look at, um, we've got some team sections. We've got heroes, logo clouds, icon box. We could use, the, we could use these for services right here. Let's add that, um, our services. Now we just fell and we do digital marketing. Um, search engine optimization, um, print design. And let's add another section. Maybe we want to add a testimonial saying our services are really awesome. Here we go. Let's add this testimonial right there. It looks pretty good. Let's add in another section from the library. 
let's let's see uh let's see some pricing yeah let's do some pricing on these different services everything you need for 99 a month looks pretty good so we'll throw that in there um then let's add in a another contact section there so here we go let's add this to the page and maybe we just want the form so maybe we can get rid of this column and uh let's copy this heading so i'm just right click copy and then right click paste and let's drag that above the form add some space um get started today and you want to go into the form settings and make sure this form is actually going to your email or sending it to mailchimp or slack or discord or wherever you wherever you like your leads to go breakdance has integrations supports webhooks etc okay let's go ahead and save this page and let's take a look on the front end that looks pretty good now let's go ahead and make it so our menu actually links to those pages so let's go breakdance in the admin bar menu and open up that main header and we've got we've got we want to link to our home page so i'm just going to rename this pricing link to home so i'm just double clicking to edit the text and then for the link we're just going to link to our home page which is my url is just breakdance.local okay then for uh we have our services i forget the url to services let's open up the link chooser so we'll just cl click link and let's search our site for services and here's that page our services let's make a link there let's delete these drop down menus we don't need these so we'll delete and delete or we could customize and put links in here if we want it but we don't and then we want another link to contact so we'll just click services click duplicate and then change that text to contact click the link icon and let's find our contact page uh, not url we want to search for existing content there's contact add link and there we go so now we have a menu let's go ahead and save that uh, and let's go back to wordpress we also want our home page to show up on the home of the site because right now when you go to the home page it's going to be at slash home page and that's not what we want so we'll go back to the wordpress admin panel we're going to go to settings uh i think it's reading and then your home page displays choose a static page and under home page choose home page and uh, let's go to pages now and let's view the home page and that's great the home page is now where it should be we can click over to the services page uh, we can go over to the contact page um, everything is beautiful that's how to build a website with breakdance rapidly using the design library now let's customize the global styles a little bit because these design sets that you get in breakdance they make use of global styles so you can get your site on brand uh, much more easily than you can with many other builders so let's go to breakdance and click edit global styles this is going to let us browse around our site while tweaking the global styles we'll get a preview of everything so let's go over to the home page and here we are on the home page let's go over to the right and edit our global settings so as you can see we have global settings for colors buttons typography forms and much more let's go over to colors and maybe we don't want our site to be blue maybe our brand color is purple so let's go ahead and change our brand color to purple uh, let's change our link color to purple as well let's take a look at any of the palette colors that are present no blues there so that'll change uh, most uses of blue to purple so that's great we'll have to tweak this blue manually because it's probably a gradient let's take a look at our service page um as you can see those changes took effect on the services page as well we've got our purple check marks here or maybe we change our mind we want our brand color to be red so there we go we can change that brand to red we can change our link color to red as well and now these are red the buttons are red uh, this is red everything is red so it's really easy to get your site on brand quickly uh, let's go to the contact page and make sure that all looks good too and uh, voila it does what well, do you know let's save our global settings and let's go back to the front end of the site so we'll just click this arrow to get out of there and one more time let's go home and to wrap things up let's just fill in a better red for uh, the hero section on the home page so go to breakdance and click open home page here we are in breakdance one last time let's click this section we'll go to background 
And if you want to see uh, where the styles are coming from for anything in the design library that you add to your page, you can just click the modified button down here and it'll show you all the styles that the designer who created the design library section uh, tweaked in the first place. So for any element, you just click modified to see all the modified styles. This makes it really easy to find the thing that was modified that you need to change. So here obviously is that blue gradient that's on the overlay. We could just get rid of this gradient and uh, uh, then it's not there. Well, maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we want to customize the gradient. So let's go back here, click modified and uh, let's find that gradient. Let's, let's choose a different gradient and let's just make that gradient more of a red. And uh, yeah, there we go. Much better. Okay, that is how to uh, build a website rapidly using the Breakdance Design Library. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to check out our website and YouTube channel for hundreds more tutorials on all the different parts of Breakdance.